Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Natasha aka Wellness Diva Chronicles Keto and I'm back with a delicious and tasty low carb high fat recipe for you guys. I've experimented with many different types of wraps on keto using almond flour, coconut flour, but this wrap uses a special ingredient, a secret ingredient, something you might not even think of, pork rinds. I'm demonstrating a half batch, it's a test batch to see if I like it, but I'm giving you guys the ingredients for the full batch. It says it should make 12, but I think you can get six average size wraps. Add an eighth of a teaspoon of baking soda to the food processor. Along with a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm then gonna go ahead and add six large eggs to the food processor. Next then goes four ounces of softened cream cheese. This is a good time to add the half a cup of water. And then go ahead and blend all the ingredients until they're thoroughly and entirely combined. Then go ahead and pour your batter into a bowl and set it aside for about 5 or 10 minutes just to let it thicken up a bit. The consistency of your batter should look something like this. It is essential to preheat your pan about medium heat, and when it gets hot, you're gonna to wanna to then add the oil. I use nonstick spray, and that worked out just fine for me, but go ahead and use whatever suits you. This process until all the wraps are complete. I generally would cook it on the first side for about mm, maybe 45 to 60 seconds, and then on the second side for about 30 seconds, just so that each side is light brown and the wraps are nice and pliable. You don't want to overcook them. Also, I heard you guys loud and clear. I know you guys want to see some more keto pasta recipes as well as some keto bread recipes, but definitely overwhelmingly pasta. So that's coming up next, but I was already going to do this wrap, so I just figured I'd share it, and I hope you guys love it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure not to keep it to yourself. Share it with somebody that you know will enjoy it as well. I love hearing from you guys and interacting with you, so please be sure to leave a comment below and let me know about more keto recipes that you'd like to see featured on the channel. I'll do my very best to get those up for you. And as always, Diva family, stay safe and be well. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.